sweeties welcome to my channel if you're a subscriber welcome back if you have not subscribed yet then please I really appreciate it if you subscribe and let's get into this patio tour and Monstera update so this is our front patio and we had this slab poured about oh, 10 years ago now my husband designed this shade structure to go over it so we could enjoy it more throughout the year throughout the year and I love to keep my plants out here during the summertime the spring and the summer months so that they can get lots of fresh air and rain they seem to really do well out here so let me just give you a little tour of uh, what we have decorating so I have two pairs of these gauzy curtains these are from Ikea and they are super cheap like five dollars a pair and I just tie them back with a little ribbon to keep them from blowing around too much. This bench is also from Ikea. And I use it as a coffee table or drink, you know, just a place I drink down on. But when we have company, it's extra seating. The benches are from Target as well as the cushions. Benches are aluminum, so they're super lightweight. And they are like powder coated aluminum, so we haven't had any issue with rusting. So I just spray them down with the hose to wash off any pollen or anything that gets on there. This outdoor rug is from World Market, adds lots of nice color, and it's like a woven plastic, so you can just hose it off with the uh, garden hose to spray any dirt off. This is one of my favorite plants. This is a giant bird of paradise. And I got this from a local nursery, Pike Nurseries. And there's really, there's like three plants in one pot. So eventually I will repot them and maybe separate them into make them, you know, separate pots. But for now, they are in the pot they came in. I'll give it some fresh potting soil soon, but it's doing really, really well. And eventually I want to put it in this tall planter, but I want to spray paint that white first. And I got this planter from Home Goods. Here is my fiddle leaf fig. And that's been living outside this summer, spring and summer as well. I tied it gently with a little, like a jute ribbon, just to give it some support. But that's doing well out here. And it's, it doesn't get really harsh sunlight because of the shade structure. It seems to really enjoy it out here. And this is a palm I got from Home Depot last year. I had to overwinter it in an unheated garage because my cat would attack it if I brought it in the house. So let's be honest, you know, I did forget it in there and I didn't water it as much as I should. So it died back a bit. But it rebounded pretty nicely, I think, since being outside for the spring and summer. And this is another bird of paradise. Now this one I also um, ordered online, similar to how I got the um, Monstera. Look how tall it is. It's taller than me, and I love it. This is another plant I got from Pike Nursery. This is a philodendron. I got this last year and I again overwintered it in the garage. It's an unheated garage so I actually got a little bit of dieback but it bounced back really well this year. Here she is. There's the Monstera that I repotted four months ago. I'll post a link to the video so you can see what she looked like when we first got her but look how much she has grown lots of new leaves sprouting and you can see she's got some of these aerial roots those stick out there's one in there too right there and that's perfectly normal so don't be alarmed if you if you see that almost like an orchid you know they have some roots that kind of come out over the top because this is a vine you know, it will grow and attach itself. 
Let's take a look around the other side. That's another leaf getting ready to unfurl. I mean, it really has done very well out here. There's another little leaf peeking out. So it's, I'm really happy with the way that it has taken off. And, you know, like I said, it was just repotted four months ago. You can see what it looked like in that previous video. And I just used miracle Grow potting soil and, you know, kept it well watered but not soggy. And it has done really well. The potting soil has um, fertilizer in it, so you don't have to worry about fertilizing it through the, um, throughout the summer. And just remember, when you're watering it, you don't want your plant to sit in water because the roots can rot. Let me show you the coolest gadget for outdoor dying and entertaining. It's these silicon, silicon flowers. They come off easily if you want to take them off. But if not, look at that. They won't just blow off in the wind. And they keep the little buggies out of your drink because I tell you, when you go to sip your drink, the last thing you want to see is a fly floating in there. You know what I mean? So these I got off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box for you. Look at that. Nothing's getting in there. It's nice and secure, but it comes off easily when you want to take it off. And I have these hanging succulent planters. And I got these from Sam's Club oh, about three, about three years ago. And occasionally I've gone in and replaced a couple of the plants. There's that one blooming, that's pretty. But it really has held up well over the years. They don't need much water at all, making them perfect for a hanging pot in this hot, dry area. can't forget to show you these hanging lanterns. They're held up on a wire, so you can barely see the wire. Look, it gives like a nice glow in the evening. I really love these. These are from Big Lots. So that is my patio tour. Thank you so much for joining me, and please subscribe, like this video, and come back for more great plant, home, and garden videos, recipes, cooking tips and have a delicious day. It's mm. good lemonade. And no bugs. <laughs>